Well, the goaltending situation for your Red Deer Rebels continues to evolve. As on Wednesday, General Manager Brent Sutter pulling the trigger on another trade. A couple of weeks ago, it was Ryland Toth going to Seattle. This time, it's Red Deer native Dawson Weatherill going to the Spokane Chiefs. Coming to Red Deer is 19-year-old goalie Tyson Verhelst. Also, there is an exchange of draft picks involved. The Rebels getting a third-round pick in 2017, while going to Spokane is a fifth-round pick in the 2018 WHL Bantam Draft. Now Verhelst is entering his third season in the Western Hockey League. He didn't report to Spokane for training camp this time around, so he'd been back home in Brandon, Manitoba, awaiting a trade. GM Brent Sutter talks about why he made this trade. Well, you know, we felt like, uh, you know, with uh, Lammer and Marty here, we, you know, we, uh, and with Dawson here, we had three goalies that, you know, it was a situation with uh, where Dawson probably wasn't going to get much of an opportunity to play just with Lammer playing like he has, and uh, and he's been good for us, very good. And, uh, and then with Marty being a 20-year-old, um, you know, if Dawson being 17 years of age, we just thought if, you know, if we could, you know, find somewhere and be inside of a good organization where he can grow and develop as a player and, and you know, hopefully push to be a starting goalie inside that organization at some point in time that we would do something. And uh, Spokane's had a lot of interest. Uh, Scott, their new GM, and I have had a lot of communication over the last, uh, on this over the last little bit. And, uh, um, you know, and really at the end of the day, but for me to move Doss Note, I wanted to find, wanted to get a goalie back in return because I, I still want to, you know, be a three goalie tandem here to start the year and continue to move forward with that. And, you know, and the difference is one guy was 17, it's, who's a very good prospect, and hopefully that he can grow into that role in Spokane. And, uh, and the player we got back in return is, uh, played 50 some games in the league last year and was starting goal in the league and he's 19 and um, and so we'll see how this all shakes out and see where it all goes and uh, and then you know to get a pretty significant pick on top of that was also uh, again another uh, you know nice addition another good asset to have just simply again when you're ho when you've hosted the MIM Cup and You've had to move assets such as draft picks out over the last year or so, a um, couple years. Uh, you know, we basically have accumulated a lot of them all back now and uh, and and more. And it's was really, really important for this coming draft for me because of the fact we don't have a first round pick. So and uh, so it's that's just uh, that's the management side of me and trying to manage. You know the assets as far as picks the right way and making sure moving forward that we can stay strong and still be a very competitive uh, team with picks moving forward and having uh, having good picks. So now I guess it falls on our scouts' shoulders now. Also, some more lineup news coming down Wednesday for your Red Deer Rebels. Adam Musil back from camp with the St. Louis Blues, and Josh Mahura is on his way back from camp with the Anaheim Ducks, meaning both those key veterans will be in the lineup for the Rebels this weekend as they head east for a three-game road trip. And we got notified today that Josh will be back tonight too, so that's kind of nice. So Muse and Josh now are just, you know, the only other one is just waiting to see what uh, Winnipeg's plans are with, uh, with Spash, so we'll... Uh, you know, I was waiting. I talked to Winnipeg here uh, the day before yesterday, and they said they'd let me know here sometime this week what's going on. So, you know, hopefully it's sooner than later. Um, you know, we got, you know, three games in three days coming up here this weekend, so and they're all tough opponents. So I mean, it's the more bodies you can have, especially experienced bodies and guys that are impact players for you, the, the better you off you are. The Rebels head out Thursday for a three games and three nights road trip this weekend. Moose Jaw, Brandon and Regina all on the docket. For RD News Now, I'm Troy Gillard.